Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. There has been a lot of excitement in the AI image community recently. We have seen several new releases, including Z image, different version of Flux 2, and Nano Banana Pro. As I record this, I'm still waiting for the new Z image base and edit version, as well as the Queen edit update. But for today, let's look at the direct comparison between two closed source models. We are comparing Flex 2 Pro against Nano Banana Pro. Right now, Nano Banana Pro is seen as a standard to beat. Some even say if it went open source, it would completely dominate the competition. We know that both Flex 2 Pro and Nano Banana Pro can create images from text and edit existing images. We will start by comparing how they create images from a text prompt. Before we start, I want to explain how I text this. I use the Conf your API service for all these images. For each prompt, I made three variations and picked the best one. This makes sure I'm comparing the best work for each model. OK, let's look at some images to compare skin texture. Here are two close-up images of Fisherman, both 2048 by 2048 pixels. For every comparison in this video, the flux image will be on the left and the nano banana image will be on the right. At first glance, which one do you like better? I think the hands in the flux image look a little strange. Let's zoom in and look at the tears. The tears created by Nano Banana looks much more realistic. The tears from flux look a bit like jelly, which does not look natural. Also, there are two thin black marks on the nose in the flux image. The texture of the head is also better in the Nano Banana image. Let's look at another example. I think the banana model did a better job with the snowflakes sticking to the eyebrows and the eyelashes. It looks very lifelike. Now, look at the earrings. My prompt asks for miniature winter branches with tiny frozen berries. The banana model followed this instruction perfectly. It also shows much better detail in the texture of the knitted hat. OK, let's compare some other textures. You might notice that the rocks and the grass look more real in a banana image. In Flux's image, the grass and the rock don't separate well. The details look messy and are too similar. Banana, however, keeps a clear difference. Rocks look like actual minerals, and the grass looks distinctly organic. Also, I asked for a swap draping down her face and wetting the collar of her shirt. The banana model did this correctly, but Flux failed to include that detail. Next, let's see if these models can get the structure of objects right. Here are two keyboards. Let's zoom in. Notice how Flux's keyboard keys have inconsistent shapes and sizes. The banana keyboard stays even and uniform. Neither model is perfect at writing the letters on the keys, but the text from Banana is more reliable than Flux. Let's look at another example. The zipper created by Banana on the right is clear and sharp. The zipper from Flux on the left looks melted. It has no clear structure, and it's hard to tell the zipper tee apart from the fabric. The zipper pull also has some issues. Finally, let's see if the models can get human poses right. I generated three images of a person playing snooker. All three images from Banana showed the correct hand position on the table. For Flex, only one image was close to the correct pose. The other two were wrong. Another detail is the chalk on the Q-tip. The Flex version has bad structure and put way too much chalk on the tip. Alright, we have compared the text-to-image skills of both models. Nano Banana beat Flex in all the tests. Next, let's see how they handle image editing. First task, replacing the woman in this image with a woman from this one. The result should look something like this. Now let's check the results. Flex changed her dress too, while Nano Banana treated it as just a hair swap. Flux replaced the original black lace dress with a woman's white t-shirt. 
Both models understood the task differently, which is fine. Our main focus is the face. Let's zoom in. Both faces look consistent with the reference. However, the face generated by Flex has uneven skin tone. Let's make it harder. This time, we need to keep three different faces consistent. The task is to put three specific girls into this background where they are sitting on a sofa. This is Flex's result. Let's zoom in. The consistency is not great, especially for the woman in the middle. Now let's see what Nano Banana did. I actually asked in the prompt for them to look like close friends. The image from Nano Banana looks much more intimate than the Flex result. Let's check the faces again. The faces look much more like the original references compared to the Flex output. OK, let's compare how well they keep objects consistent. This text is a clothing swap. We are going to put this dress onto this woman riding a bicycle. The challenge here is the fabric. You can see the reverse side of the fabric with the logo stitching. The AI needs to know that this part should be ignored. Let's see how well they did. You see, Flex failed to understand which part was the reverse side. Nano Banana gives us the correct result. Now let's do another clothing swap. We are going to put this traditional Indian sari onto this woman. I chose this because a member of our community told me that the current editing models struggle with the complex textures of saris. Let's compare the results. The left image is flux, the middle is banana, and the right is the original dress. Overall, Flex has more dramatic lighting, but it looks too shiny. The banana version lost some of the original shine. In terms of consistency, banana is better. Flex added frames to the button that was not there before. And it missed the belt-like piece at the knee. Both models failed to keep all the delicate textures of the original dress. One more thing, Nana Banana can also generate 4K images. Let's compare the 4K version with the standard 2K version. The right image is 4K. It looks sharper, but it seems more like an upscaled version of the 2K. You still lose details during the editing process, comparing the 4K to the original dress. You see, the details still and perfectly restored. So paying extra for 4K images might not be worth the money. OK, now let's see how well they handle text. The task is to blend this jar of night cream onto this wooden stand. This is Flex's output. This one is from Nana Banana. Let's zoom in on the labels. I'll put the original jar on top. Both did great. But bananas looks sharper. Let's finish two more tasks. The first task is to make this woman mimic this ballet pose. Let's look at the results. Comparing them to the original pose. The pose generated by Flex actually looks more similar to the original. But if you used this image as a pose reference, Flex failed. Instead, I used this pencil sketch as a reference for Flex successfully. Our last task today, applying the lighting effects from this image to this one. Originally, the light came from the left, but now we want it from the right. Let's look at the Flex image. It kept the face and clothes looking right, but the image quality dropped. The face lost detail, and the weird vertical stripes appeared on the wall. Now let's look at the banana image. There is a slight drop in quality here too, but it is much better than a flex output. Time to summarize. Whether creating images from scratch or editing them, Nano Banana Pro beats Flex 2 Pro in almost every task. I chose difficult tasks, so the difference was very clear. Currently, Nano Banana Pro costs about 14 cents per image. Flex 2 Pro only costs about 4.5 cents. That makes Banana about 3 times more expensive. So Flex 2 Pro is still very good value for money. 
However, I should mention that these pit models are not always better than the free ones. For example, I have used Queen Edit for face swapping and relighting in my earlier videos, and it was better than Nana Banana Pro. In the future, I will share more workflows based on open source models that can match these closed source tools. Feel free to subscribe to the channel for updates.